You know, Auburn's a special place. I love Auburn. Uh, one of the neatest things about growing up here is going around to all different places and seeing people. And, they, and when I introduce myself, they're like, oh, you're Spencer, you're Eel's grandson? Absolutely I am. And, the, you know, you get a smile on their face um, because they know who he is, they know what he's done, and how he has made Auburn what it is today. Very few people have influenced both Auburn University and the Auburn Opelika area as much as Ed Lee Spencer. His hardworking, no-nonsense approach to life began at an early age. You're fortunate in your life if you come into contact with people who make you want to be better than you are. And you talk about lifetime achievement, if you have lived a life that inspires others to be better than they are, what greater achievement can there be? I was actually born in Low Chipoka, Alabama, and my folks lived there until probably I was two and a half. And then we moved in Auburn. We also farmed a little bit out there. And I milked cows morning and night until I uh, started playing high school football. And my father tolerated me going out for it, but didn't think I'd stick with it. And uh, I did. I would still milk in the morning, but he'd go home after a hard day's work and milk for me. Growing up in a university town had a big impact on E.L. Spencer, one that would foster growth and prosperity for the future of Auburn. One, growing up in an education community is a good experience. It's, I enjoy the sports, but I also enjoy the purpose of Auburn, which is to mold and build and offer. As most students did in the, the 50s, uh, Ed Lee went into the Air Force, and he served uh, in various places uh, and got a very um, uh, important um, outlook, international outlook in many ways. Uh, when he came back to Auburn, he earned a, was awarded a, a Rhodes Scholar, and he went back to England and studied there. After the Air Force, Ed Lee settled into the town of Auburn in the family lumber business and met and married his sweetheart, Ruth. When I got out of the Air Force, I was in Auburn and I went in the family lumber business, building supply. I would come up to the bank to see the bank president, Mr. Emil Wright, to borrow money, to finance. Uh, I, I built a lot of low income uh, housing. Uh, for housing, particularly for those in the low income sector, there really was not an avenue for home ownership uh, for those in that income sector. So he began just to construct and build uh, nice homes uh, for those primarily in the low income sector, and he ended up financing those. It is unbelievable during that time and the number of homes that he built and financed, there was never one foreclosure. I think that's significant about how those customers and individuals that he helped felt about him and giving a helping hand to those in the community. He saw a need and he met that need, not only through the construction, through his construction company and the lumber company, but also his willingness to finance those and give a helping hand to those that were willing to work for that. His positive influence on the small town of Auburn continued to grow once he became a board member and eventually the president of Auburn Bank. Mr. Spencer's role in, in our bank, and particularly in the banking industry, has been significant. He joined the bank as a director in 1975. What led to this was I started buying a little stock in the bank and a little more stock and a little more stock. And uh, in 1975, they asked me to be on the board of directors. And uh, I became chairman of the board, I think, five years later. And then uh, we had to change presidents. And the uh, board said, well, you just be president for a while. And I was for about 10 years till we brought Bob Dumas along and he's done a fine job. Ed Lee's philosophy of helping others in need echoes throughout Auburn Bank and its employees. 
I've had the privilege of working with Mr. Spencer for over 31 years. He's a unique individual. Uh, he's a great leader. He's a mentor. He's a friend. His philosophy has been in business and continues to be one of service. As he reminds shareholders and customers frequently, what can we do to help you? We're here for you. Those are themes that he lives throughout his life. And I have seen him uh, extend a helping hand to a number of individuals, businesses, uh, nonprofit organizations, uh, and, many, and many worthwhile causes in our community because he cares about it. Auburn Bank cares and cares about people, and that basically is because Ed Lee Spencer cares and cares about people, and that philosophy comes from Ed and passes through to the bank. And, you know, we care whether the person has a lot of money or not a lot of money. They're still people, and a customer comes in and can't balance their checkbook. The customer service representative is gonna sit down and help them balance their checkbook. They come in and they need a loan, they're gonna get a loan, whether it's $1,000 or $10,000 or $100,000, because they're a person, and, and that has, what, why the bank has been successful, in my opinion, and why we will always be successful, because we won't forget that, because Mr. Spencer taught us that. He's a brilliant man, but he's so quiet in his personality that it's very difficult for many people to really understand the scope of what he's done and his brilliance. I think another significant contribution was his service on East Alabama Medical Center Board. He served on that board for 26 years. He served as chairman for 18 years. During that time, you saw East Alabama Medical Center take leaps and bounds. For example, the Heart Center was created, the Cancer Center. Uh, there was a hospice program instituted. And under his leadership, the hospital thrived, not only financially, but through the services that were offered to the citizens in the community. Mr. Spencer's lifelong dedication to helping others within his community has certainly had its impact on Auburn and Auburn University. I challenge you to find anything good in this community to try to help people that he is not involved with to some extent. He just enjoys watching people help themselves and a community grow. And Auburn and Auburn University uh, have been very blessed to have a man of that caliber who's had great influence, not only in the community and university, but the people that he has surrounded himself with, it just makes you want to, you know, uh, be like him. And I think that's probably the greatest compliment you could give someone is, I'd love, I'd love to follow that and try to live up to those convictions. He's just one of the finest men I've ever known. And he makes me want to be finer than I am.